Hi, my name is Brian Stevens with the National Real Estate Post, and I'm speaking with Catherine LeClaire from Keller Williams. And she's got some thoughts about where the market in the greater St. Louis area is headed and where the need is going to be in the future. Why don't you tell me a little about this? Uh, thanks, Brian. I think there's always a great opportunity for us agents out there to help educate buyers and sellers in the market. Um, one of the things that I notice is that Everybody starts to panic a little bit because they're starting to see price reductions. They're starting to see houses set for a little bit longer. Yeah. Um, but it's been a great market for a very long time. For actually the past seven years, it's been a pretty dominant seller's market. Now we're shifting kind of in more of a balanced market. And this is a great opportunity for sellers still and for buyers, especially first-time buyers or buyers who are really thinking about they're on the cusp of wanting to buy a house, but they're not for sure. The issue here is, is now we have feds who are wanting to push up rates. That's also going to start decreasing some buying power. So yeah. one of the things that's important is for us as realtors to start educating our clients into, yes, we can still sell your house at a great price and we can get it sold fast to a great buyer. And one of those opportunities we can help with loan officers and great lenders is that we can actually help pre-qualify them ahead of time so they know exactly how much they're going to be able to afford and able to spend without breaking the bank, per se. You know, the devil's in the details on that, isn't it? I, when it comes down to having a, a transaction that's going to go more smoothly is really getting somebody pre-qualified with a lender ahead of time so they know exactly what they're looking at. I mean, everybody wants right. a bigger, better house, but why look at it if it's not in your price range, right? Right, exactly. And for us as agents, you know, I don't want to sit there and on a beautiful Saturday day and show you houses that you can't even afford. No. And so not only am I wasting your time, the seller's time, my time, but that's why we want to pre-qualify you. We want to get you with a great loan officer and we want to sit there and spend the extra 20 minutes and figure out, okay, now your price range is 150 to 200 and not 300,000. So it makes sense. Yeah, setting expectations is just uh, is one of the big problems that we see in this industry. But you know what? I'll tell you this right now. I just read a study recently and it said that half the people in this country who don't own a house right now still believe you have to put 20% down to buy a house. And most of those people don't have 20, you know, a $200,000 house, you're looking at 40 grand. Right. That's not, you know, no, if I can't afford the ticket to the dance, I don't care what song they're playing, you know? <laughs> right, I exactly. Mean, so we don't need 20% down, do we? We don't. And there are many options out there right now, and you're, a great lender can help you with those. But we have 0% down with certain, you know, criteria restrictions, 3%, um, 35 5 It just really depends on what your needs are. And that's why getting you pre-qualified, you know what to bring to the table. So most of us now are cash strapped. We're not saving our money anymore, you know? Right. So we are a nation of spenders, aren't we? We love to spend. We love to create that. I'm guilty as well. But, you know, uh, coming up with 20% down is a huge chunk of money. And maybe the house needs some remodeling. Maybe it needs a bathroom to update. So you want to save a little bit of your cash. That's a good point. So, you know, why put 20% down? Let's put in five, and then you can do some touch-ups. Make the house your own. Especially if you're putting 3 or 5% down, and you're still getting one of the most competitive, great interest rates that you're ever going to find historically. You know, and I think that is a, a, a huge misconception in this industry, industry, so I'm glad that you brought that up. You know, and the last point I want to bring up, if you're thinking about buying a house or you're thinking of renting right now, what's inevitable is your rent is always going to go up. Mm-hmm. But when you buy a house, you are fixing that payment. So even if it's a little higher tomorrow, it's not going to be higher over the course of the next 10 or 20 years. So you can fix the most expensive expense that you have, your housing expense, and you get to own the home in the process. Absolutely. Thanks a lot, Catherine. Thank you.